All right, so this is part three of the tutorial on using the rapid rig. So now that we've set up our uh, rig the way we wanted, we've adjusted all the controls uh, how we how we want. We're happy, so it fits our character fairly well. Um, before you can just go ahead and generate the rig, there are some of the things you have to do first. So the first thing we have to do is uh, enter a name. So I'm just going to enter uh, Dustin. So my rig is going to be called Dustin. Um, the next one down is, uh, do you want to create the uh, rapid mesh? Now what this does is it creates um, a chunk of geometry for you for basically each joint, uh, which you can then use uh, for animation purposes. Um, if you don't have a character yourself and you just want to jump in there and get animating something, um, it gives you that option. Uh, it also is fairly useful um, in that you can adjust the... Uh, radius of a lot of the stuff so you can make it fit to the character you already have built and then you can keep your uh, high res character turned off and just animate with this lower res version. Um, so I'm going to turn that on, it's completely optional. The next one we have are the tune arms and tune legs. Uh, what this does is it allows you to have really uh, tight control over the shape of, uh, of the arm rather than just bending at the elbow you can have it go into a nice uh, curving shape. Uh, you can also um, you know, distort it into pretty much any shape you want with uh, the controls that are there. Um, I do not recommend turning these on unless you actually need those cartoony uh, features. So if this is something for more realism, you probably don't want these on because it's going to generate a lot of extra joints which aren't going to help you. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do that. Uh, next option we have is now to either generate the rig or delete the dummies. Uh, so at this point I'm happy with everything and I'm going to click generate dummies, or sorry, generate rig from the dummies. Um, and a warning pops up saying, uh, you know, you probably won't be able to undo this. Uh, do you want to go back and save or generate rig uh, to actually make the rig? Um, I recommend that you do go back and save this. Uh, so I'm going to save this as... Uh, I'll just call this uh, Dustin Dummies. So that way, if um, I'm not happy with how some of the joints are placed, maybe once I've skinned it, I realize that there's some issues with joint placement, I can go back to that other file uh, that I've just saved and uh, get back to those dummies without having to reset everything up. All right, so I'm good to go now. I'm going to hit Generate Rig and going for it. This may take a moment or two, depending on on uh, your machine uh, and there we go shouldn't take too long and so I'm gonna hit five on my keyboard so I can see uh, what we got here so we have three layers uh, we have the geometry layer uh, we have the controls layer and then we have the joints layer so you can see that uh, in the joints layer we have I'll just turn on this and we'll go into x-ray mode here you can see we have a lot of extra joints in the uh, legs and arms. Okay, these are some of those tune joints I was just talking about. Uh, now before I get into the actual animation controls, I'm going to show you how to uh, adjust the shape of the geometry that you've created to fit your character if you want or just to uh, customize in general. Uh, so what you can do is a lot of these uh, pieces of geometry have uh, a radius or some other attributes you can use. Um, for changing the shape. So I'm gonna, maybe uh, he's been working out and he needs some bigger arms. Okay, so I can go in there and, and give him some larger arms. I can grab the shoulders, uh, increase the radius of those. Uh, maybe we need him to be a little thicker. All right, maybe like that, but he's got these really girly legs. So maybe we'll, we'll reduce the radius on those. He's got these bony knees. Okay, you can go back and adjust these at any point. Um, you can also adjust the ears here. So if you want to make the ears just go away, you can turn the radius down lower. Uh, you can also uh, adjust the radius width to whatever you want. Maybe he's got some Princess Leia buns going on there or something. Who knows? Okay, uh, we can also adjust... Well, that's good enough for now. So we kind of get the idea. You can um, adjust the size of the finger pieces if you need to. 
you know, he's got some real big fingers because he he's worked labor for most of his life or something. Who knows? Okay, so we have these fingers and everything's good to go. All right. So that pretty much is how you generate your character and get it all ready, set up to animate. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be going over the actual controls for animating the character.